Hello! In this video, we'll present a hands-on, practical introduction to the universe of BQML, which stands for BigQuery Machine Learning. This technique gives us the power to use SQL queries for the creation, training, evaluation, and usage of AI models. After creating these models, leveraging them in diverse services like Cloud Functions, Kubernetes Engine, and Compute Engine is a piece of cake. Therefore, BQML can uplevel your AI and ML applications, in particular, those requiring batch predictions. As usual, the demonstrated code and diagram file will be shared for your reuse. Just check the video description for a GitHub repository link. Now, let's dive into the Cloud Console, where we'll create an example data set that we'll call IT Help Desk. We'll imagine this data set as tracking IT ticket resolution. You'll find both the CSV file and the Python script used to generate it within the provided GitHub repository. Our data is rather straightforward. It contains a date and then a percentage of cases resolved on that date. Our method of choice is the uncomplicated yet effective BQML, which we'll use to identify trends lurking in the data. Although we'll be playing with fairly basic algorithms, you can certainly adapt BQML to more complex scenarios. Further, your model features can be not just numeric, but categorical, and the intricate work of feature engineering, think one hot encoding for categorical variables, is done for you. Let's roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty with some SQL queries. Our model creation command demonstrates this model keyword, and the creation necessitates specifications like the model type. As a simple example, we'll go with linear regression. We also specify the label column. This is the column we're trying to predict or analyze with our AI ML model. In this case, we're reaching for a deeper insight into our IT help desk case closure rates. We need to process the date, a tad, since our date column has been imported as a string. We need a format that's more palatable for the AI ML model and ideally in a numerical format. Say hello to published days from epoch, which is translating our date to a number and will yield better results than a categorical feature in our AI ML model. Once we run the query and take a peek at the model, fascinating figures await us in the form of training and evaluation statistics. Given that we're in simple linear regression territory, we'll only have a single training step. There's a proper mathematical solution to this regression, so model creation is quick. Next, we can look under the hood at the weights underpinning our linear regression. The type of statistics depends on the model, and we can even use the advanced weight function in our SQL when required. It's worth mentioning that we would obtain weights for categorical variables, should we have any. We can further tweak these models and the data we're introducing to them within the SQL workspace. Much of the heavy-duty feature engineering tasks are tackled for us, but we must still think about which columns truly deserve a spot in our AI model and what data types they should be. Let's look at the trend over the last 30 days. If we look at that model through the interface and inspect the weights, we'll notice the difference between the original model and this 30-day trend. There's quite a few of these ML functions around evaluation, feature information, training prediction, and weights. So, in addition to the pleasant graphical interfaces, SQL offers another window to assess and comprehend your models. We hope this brief tour was enlightening, and we'll keep an eye on the comment section for any questions. Thank you for joining us, and please enjoy responsibly. Thank you.